everyone and welcome back to the Unknown Empire. My name is Madgar and this is episode 1 of our adventures. We are going to be very busy today because we will be making sure that we are not going to starve on the server. Alright guys, so first things first, I am going to find a little bit of a hole in the ground and try to find myself some iron and some coal because I'm already running desperately low on that. I feel like that's becoming a theme in my videos already. So I'm going to explore a bit around here. Uh, I think this is uh, someone else's. Yeah, that's probably someone else's. So uh, that actually looks like a good place to start. All right, so we got some coal and I think it's time for us to do a little bit of exploring now. Uh, okay, <laughs> that was quick. Uh, some iron already, an amethyst geode, okay. Not too shabby. Okay, that cave is not that accessible right now, so I'm mm. just gonna go ahead and already smelt myself some iron and maybe uh, we can, I think we can already get full iron armor then. Because I did manage to find uh, this on the way here, a block of raw iron, which, uh, I mean, look at that, that's a stack. So uh, let's plop some in here. And uh, while, while that's cooking, I will collect these and I will go chop some more, uh, more wood. I want to get some of those trees, but mainly the spruce tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go ahead and take some of these because these will be very handy if we need a wood farm of some sort. I will of course be planting them back, don't worry. One thing with this custom built world is everything is really pretty and I don't want to destroy too much. So yeah, that's a that's a bit of a a bit of a struggle knowing what to take, what where to mine because some of the some of the caves are going to be beautiful and if there's resources in those caves I'm going to want to mine them. The mountains, they, they look really nice but then you take like lumps of coal out of them. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this coal and, <laughs> and fill it up with some diorite. There we go. Nothing happened. It will take some getting used to playing in a group of people. Some of these people have been playing together for a really long time. I literally just joined. So uh, yeah, I do feel like I have a little bit to prove. I'm going to try my best to make all my builds look really nice uh, and to actually at least pretend that I know what I'm doing. All right, so I just get myself out with some iron armor. We still have some in the furnace. Yeah, probably going to make a pickaxe and a shovel with that. So a pickaxe, we will need it. A sword will also be very handy. Because I've been surviving with a wooden sword so far and I mean, not, not ideal to say the least. And just for good measure, a shovel as well. I think we should also get a farm started. As I said, we are basing here with a couple of people. Or, um, I think the plan is to build a town and... Uh, to build a town, we actually probably also need some farms. So I think I'm actually going to get on that after uh, after I did some cave exploring. Okay, so back down we go. We should probably just check out that cave. I mean, there was a baby zombie in there earlier, so let's hope there's some more stuff there. And there's already a creeper. Oh yeah, so creeper griefing is off. I completely forgot because when the server was starting that was not the case. Um, but yeah, that does mean that dealing with creepers is a bit easier. Okay, so this is a bust. We're gonna be taking the lapis though. We will need plenty of that. Okay, how do we get down here? I think you can climb these oh okay that's, oh, oh. okay so jumping down was not the best idea but we're fine we're fine was it a mistake coming down here without a bucket 
Probably, right? Oh. Wow. That scared me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did not see that guy at all. Oh wow. My god. I haven't scared like that in a while. I'm honestly not finding much around here. Uh, except for some mobs here and there. Let's uh, light that up. Okay, so our iron is smelted up. Um, as I said, we have to make a bucket. Let's do some of the farming first because Four bread is not gonna cut it. I have some potatoes and some mutton and that's it. Yeah, we're gonna need some more. Okay, so I've set up a little bit of a farming area over here. It's a bit chaotic, I know. Um, but yeah, chaos is, uh, chaos is fun. Chaos is very fun. Uh, we are probably going to go out on the hunt with our three wheat for some cows. We will need cows for books because I am, well, I already kind of promised the people I'm basing with that I am going to set up an enchanting area and we will need books for that. And we will also need diamonds for that. So, yeah, I think I may have shot myself in the foot just a little bit. I already spotted one cow over there. Hopefully there's a second one close by. Hello, cows. Any cows here? Oh, there's another cow. Okay, 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 okay. Mooey friend, come with me. Should I have made the pen first? Probably. Is there anything we can do about it now? Nope. The <sighs> okay. Yeah, good job Madgar, good job looking around, using your eyes, these eyeballs of mine, pretty useless. Alright guys, so I've got my cows in a little pen here, I already bred some up, I'm still maintaining the farm over there, and currently I'm surviving on sweet berries because I don't have any food, uh, I, I really hope the crops will grow fast. Currently the only thing that's holding me back from going into the mines is food. So as soon as we figure that out, I mean, look, I have, I already have three pickaxes in the ready, got some meat just in case I run really low or get in danger, but uh, yeah, we, we need to get ourselves a steady supply of food before we can actually go deep into the mines, because mining down takes forever. Okay, so I harvest some more potatoes, but it's gonna take a while until we have a steady supply so uh, I'll see you guys back when I'm ready to go into the mines. All right, we're back. I made some potatoes. I have a little under a stack, still more growing, but I think the stack of potatoes should last us just fine. Uh, so now I think it's time to actually go underground and get some stuff because I promised, well, among others, this guy over here, I promised I would, uh, get the enchanting stuff going and there's still no diamonds I think in this group so I'm gonna head to the mines and hopefully find some diamonds real soon okay so I actually forgot my torches so uh, I think Kento is gonna come and clutch and throw some uh, throw some towards me there he is alright so now we can actually go into the mines <laughs> Uh, thank you, Kento. Uh, if you don't know Kento, he's uh, he's actually the guy who, well, one of the guys who put this together. He's also the guy who recruited me. So uh, yeah, big thanks to Kento. He mainly streams, but he also has a YouTube channel. So be sure to check him out if you uh, if you're interested in that. He was also nice enough to throw in some extra coal and some uh, some wood, so I can actually make some, because I completely forgot all of my coal was in the furnace to bake me some potato. I think we need to be at Y minus fifty something. 
I don't need too many diamonds, so I'm not gonna go crazy yet, but I do want to get the enchanting stuff set up. I gotta say though, so far the people on the server have been amazing. Everyone's helping each other out. Had a nice chat with Ramoon earlier, he's a streamer that uh, I believe is also new in this group. So yeah. Alright, we made it to the bottom, we are at minus 59. So let's uh, make ourselves a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit more space right here and then we can do some strip mining for a little bit so we can get some diamonds there we are first diamonds let's go let's see how many we have here okay that's three four five so this should already be enough for our uh, enchanting setup and a nice pickaxe to go with it there we go diamonds let it be known let it be known the mighty madgar has diamonds let's see how many more we can find uh, while uh, before our pickaxe actually breaks okay so none have been found before the pickaxe broke we, we do have a spare pickaxe, we, we actually have two spare pickaxes, but I don't want to go too far like this. We, we didn't go far yet. I mean, look, this is, this is literally all we did. Um, still took <laughs> embarrassingly long, honestly. This, this deep slate stuff is, uh, is tough. But we'll go a little bit further, see if we can actually get a little more diamonds. Because it would be nice to get some armor as well. Okay, there we go. Some more. Let's uh, let's see how many. Ooh, currently this looks like a good haul. After this, I am going to have to go up because I think Ramoon is uh, is on a visit, and I actually have not seen Ramoon yet. So after we we get these little goodies, let's make our way back up. But this is a this is a good chunk of diamonds. Yes. All right, thirteen diamonds. Not too bad. Not too bad. We can definitely make ourselves a nice pickaxe with that. Let's head on up. Okay, that's uh, that's not okay, dude. He, it's like he really wants us to look at him. So we literally just got our diamonds and Uno over here already has ancient debris. Yeah, we, we might need to step it up a little. Oh, okay. Oh no. Okay, I, I just want. <laughs> no. Okay, that's a, that's a bit of an issue. That is a bit of an issue. Can I sleep? Come on. What did he actually have? Okay, so we managed to... Um, yeah, I, I did not expect that, but uh, at least we got his... Uh, his Skyback Crystal, which seems to be very important to him. And... His horse is also here, so I think maybe... Um, we go over there. I'll ask him to send the coordinates and then uh, then I'll just make my way over there because poor guy comes over to visit and absolutely gets annihilated. All right, guys, apparently right now uh, we are the holders of the Kaibu crystal, Kaiba crystal. Yeah, the Kaiba crystal right now in our possession. 
Ramon died over there, so uh, and he had to hop off. So um, yeah, I'm keeping this safe for now. I'm going to just put this in here along with some of his stuff. I don't, I don't actually know what was his. I'm gonna assume the sweet berries were, and I definitely didn't have any copper. I hope he can make his way back here soon. I'm sorry for letting some of your stuff get blown up though, Ramun. Very sorry. Okay guys, it is time to do what we set out to do in the first place though. In my hands, I have two of the key ingredients for an enchanting table. And we have ourselves an enchanting table right here. Great. I think even though we are not enchanting it yet, let's at least make ourselves a diamond pickaxe, am I right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Alright guys, I have the enchanting table in my hand. I managed to get some bookshelves courtesy of ozone. And uh, I think it's time for us to build a little bit of an enchanting area. Nothing too fancy yet though. I was trying to finish up the enchanting area, but uh, Ramon called me over because apparently he has a saddle for me. Oh yeah, we also have this uh, natural slime farm going on over here. Uh, slime just seems to spawn here. I guess I know where I'm gonna get my slime from. Wow. Well, that looks menacing, if anything. There he is. Oh my goodness. That's a jumper. That's a, that's a pretty cool horse, not gonna lie. Oh wow, that's a very good horse. That's a lucky find. Wow. Dude, that is an insane horse. It's incredible. Yeah, that's definitely a perfect specimen. You better not lose that one because uh, I, I feel like that would be a perfect, uh, a perfect horse to breed. <laughs> I feel like now he's just showing off. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, we did already manage to give Ramon his stuff back a little earlier. Um, it's been a couple of days since that happened. And so yeah, he did log on and uh, came over to get his stuff back. I also gave him a diamond because apparently he had a jukebox with him and it blew up. So yeah, I thought it was the right thing to do. I don't know if it's because this guy doesn't uh, have any muscles, but yeah, this this horse is a pretty terrible jumper and, and not too fast either. <laughs> Honestly, but a horse is going to make a big difference though. Alright, so Ramon just uh, asked us to visit, and visit him, so let's, uh, let's go check out where he lives. Oh, another skeleton horse. It's a better jumper and I think it's a little faster. So we got ourselves an upgrade. Oh, wow. This is insane. I'm definitely going to be installing shaders to look at this. Alright, that's the place. That's where... Uh, where Ramun lives. Oh, and I'm stuck. Alright guys, so I'm on my way back from Ramun's place. I, uh... I accidentally stopped recording in the middle of, uh of the visit so uh, I lost half the footage but it was <laughs> it was mainly Ramun dying honestly he showed me a cave nearby and uh, apparently he likes to jump off stuff and die yeah he's a he's a strange fella but uh, yeah I'm on my way back now to finish off what we were working on and hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get there because we went quite far. It's a couple thousand blocks from where I'm actually building all my stuff. It would seem that we are very close to home. I am very sorry horse, but it's what I had to do. I don't have a lead right now. Alright guys, while the sun is going down, I went ahead and finished our enchanting setup. And I'm kinda happy with it. It, uh, it looks good, some greenery around, some nice lights over here, uh, plenty of bookshelves to get max level enchantments. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. So uh, that should be enough for all our enchanting needs, and I think 
we can get on to our next little project. Madgar, what is our next little project, you may ask? Well, other than building this thing, I was also collecting materials for a starter house. So uh, I have a chest full of stuff that I need to make the to make the base and we are going to get right on that. So I think it's time for a little time lapse. Let's go. did it yes we did we built ourselves a house i really like it i really like it and well i better like it because i spent a lot of time on it yeah i decided to use some diorite because well as you can see there's plenty of diorite to go around so it blends in with the terrain a bit also oak wood for the bottom and spruce wood for the roof and a nice little trim with some deep slate I haven't done a lot of decorating yet. Well, I haven't done any decorating yet. I just put in some windows and I put my bed right here. But uh, yeah, that's actually all that I'm going to do today. But guys, that is actually where I'm going to have to leave you for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new here, also consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of our house and of the little enchanting area right there. Don't look too much over there because that might be spoilers for someone else. Um, also, let me know how should I decorate this house a little more. I feel like it could use some greenery myself and uh, I'm probably going to add that in between episodes. But if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.